Hello. It's Sunday and I've got a few minutes whilst Edith's watching a bit of TV to start sorting through my fixes pile from my wardrobe audit. Now it's quite an extensive pile. Um, I'm not going to lie, it's a bit overwhelming, but as soon as I fix these garments, I can bring them back into my wardrobe. I can start enjoying them and um, yeah, they are absolutely useless while they're not fixed. So I just need to get on with it. So what have I got? I have a lovely dress, which I wore out the other day um, without realising that it is coming apart. So if you can see that literally holding together with a thread. So that is a hand sew job because um, might be a machine sew, might be a hand sew. I'm going to have a look at it, but I'm going to put it in the hand sew pile because I think I'll get onto those sooner. So hand sew pile. I have a pair of socks. These have a hole in there. They're perfectly fine apart from that. I just need to stitch up the hole, which I've already done slightly crudely on here, but it did the job and it means that I just get a little bit more wear out of them. Um, I'm not going to get into like invisible darning, that kind of thing. It's just, you know, not something that I'm going to spend a lot of time doing. But if I can fix these and get a little bit more wear out of them, then brilliant. That's a win. So that's in the hand uh, fixing pile. <coughs> and then I have hoodie that is going to be dyed. So that will go in the other pile. Again, another dyer. Um, I'm going to dye that a different colour. It's cardigan. And I've got another dye one. So I need to check all the fabric compositions for those to make sure that I'm using the right dye. One of them definitely is um, acrylic, so I'll need a synthetic dye. And the other two, I think, are cotton or natural fab fibres. So, yeah, that'll be a bit easier. Um, so t-shirt here which I plan to put some top stitching around the neckline because I don't like how it's sitting at the moment it just needs a little bit of top stitching and then I'll be absolutely perfect so that's going in the machine sewing pile and then <laughs> right this is difficult so I've got a lovely silk blouse which I really don't like the style of it just doesn't suit me so that's actually just going to go in the I'm not sure yet pile. I really don't want that to be a too big a pile, but it's just what it is. And if it's still there in three months, two months, I will probably donate it. But it's lovely silk and I'm sure there's something that I can do with it. And I'm thinking maybe like a little cami top or something like that. So, um, yeah, that's going in the to think about pile. So we have a hoodie which needs a good debobble. So that's a hand kind of... Um, technique thing um not quite hand sewing but it's um yeah done by hand um and i also need to replace these cuffs because they are bobbly they're not very well sewn and um yeah they just make it all look a bit tatty so i am going to put that in the machine sewing because i think i need to change the cuffs before i debobble that's the machine sewing one this one <laughs> So this one, again, I'm going to put in in the um, hand techniques uh, section because what I need to do is I need to change up these um, ties. So they're just a bit stringy and I'm not sure about them. So I think I'm going to cut them off. I'm going to change them for some like nice gold ties and maybe add some beads as well, like a couple of navy, maybe a couple of like wooden beads and maybe a gold bead on the end or something like that. Just to really jazz it up and make this feel a little bit more elevated because I love the fabric. I love the shape. Um, yeah, it just needs to be a bit more special and the raggy kind of ties are just doing it a disservice. So that is going to go in the hand techniques pile. I'm going to call it a hand sewing pile because it just sounds a bit better. <laughs> um, so this one is a jumper that is absolutely massive for me. I really love it. It's got um, a great crew neck neckline. Um, it's just like a sweatshirt and I love the fabric, but I am a little bit nervous about sewing this um, and hitting all the um, rhinestones. So I'm going to put this in the to remake pile because um, I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. It definitely needs the sleeves shortening. 
Um, so actually, no, I'm going to put it in the machine fixes pile. Um, but it'll probably be put to the bottom left. <laughs> uh, I have a jumper, which needs the neckline finishing on it. So that is a machine sewing um, one. And I will take a little video of the rest and just note what I'm going to do with each of them um, in another little video. So first off, I've got my bag of socks. So every time I find a sock that has a hole in, I just pop it in this bag and then when I've got time, I can sit down with a nice cup of tea and just do some hand fixing of my socks. And I find that a really good way of just keeping them stored until I'm ready to deal with them. Next up, I've got an unfinished top. Now, I actually left this unfinished so that I can do a tutorial for it, but I haven't got round to it yet. So I'm just going to pop a bit of elastic in the bottom of that. And um, yeah, that'll be nice and finished and wearable. So next, I've got a sequin dress, which I picked up from a secondhand shop. And I love the fabric of this, but it just doesn't fit. So I'm gonna see if I can make it into a skirt. And then I've got my trusty homebody joggers. Um, the ties just do nothing for me. They're really straggly and um, I just need to replace them with some more luxurious chunky ties. And then we've got this denim penny dress, which I really like the shape of, but the colour just does not do anything for me or go with anything in my wardrobe. So I'm going to dye it a different colour. Next up, we've got a lovely pair of Pin Curls Patterns Marnie Collots, and I love them in this viscose fabric, but I rushed putting the zip in, and the fabric has stretched, so I need to replace that zip. Bit of a job, but it's going to be well worth doing, because I do love those. Then I've got this gorgeous jacquard jacket that I picked up from Brick Lane. Really love it, but it seems to be kind of pilling slightly and pulling. All the threads seem to be coming apart around the um, collar. So I'm going to try trimming those off and um, then I'll just have a look at see how that's, how that's looking after that. So next I've got a lovely camisole top which is made with a gorgeous fabric that I got from Guthrie & Garni. It was quite expensive and I just got a remnant but then I've trimmed it with this kind of cheap lace that I didn't have enough of and didn't know how to trim it properly um, and basically I just need to take it off and replace it because um, yeah that just isn't working for me. It's just not neat enough. Then I've got this lovely ready-to-wear top, I think it's a Zara top, um, but I'm not keen on the border, just it's a bit heavy, so I'm thinking about chopping that off and making it into like a little jacket. Next I've got this tiered jersey tee, um, the uh, neck binding just rolls out and really annoys me and just doesn't look neat enough. And I also think if I dye it, I'll probably wear it more as well, it'll show the creases less. And then I've got um, the same problem happening with this Crafty Sewing, sewing Camp t-shirt. And I just need to run an extra stitch around the edge to hold the seam allowance down to the, um, to the neckline. So that's a nice easy one. Now this one I have um, bound the neckline with um, a jersey that had quite a bit of polyester in and it's just bobbled like hell. I mean it matches really well but I just can't wear it so I'm going to have to take that off and replace the neck binding. And then this 3x3 three three tee, um, the cuffs just kind of roll back as I'm wearing them. Um, and just don't look as neat as they could. So all it needs is just a few hand stitches just to secure that cuff and then I think I'll really enjoy wearing that. Mm. 
Next up, I've got this Sweetheart Neckline Jersey Top, which I did actually alter on one of my Fix It Fridays, but it just doesn't have enough st stability to it. So I think if I put some interfacing or some clear elastic around the neckline, it will just hold it to my body a little bit more and stop those um, curved edges from folding forwards. Then I've got this stretched velvet tee. Um, I have just run a straight stitch around the neckline, but I've run a zigzag stitch around the hem on the sleeve and at the bottom of the garment. And I think that just looks so much neater. So I'm just going to put the zigzag stitch around the neckline as well. And then I've got this lovely button up pinafore dress. It's one of my absolute favorites, um, but yeah, the buttons have come off. And I have done a bit of a um, bodge job of just pinning them on with the safety pin for now. And now they need properly sewing back on. And then I've got this jumper, which I really like for winter. Um, but it's polyester and um, it bobbles a lot. It is recycled polyester, so um, so that's not too bad. But it, it has um, yeah bobbled a huge amount. And um, yeah, I just need to debobble it and maybe dye it. I'm going to have a think about that one after I've debobbled it. And then this top um, I wear so much, I'm not surprised it's got a hole in it. Um, under the arm, there's a hole in the French seam. So the best way for me to fix that is going to be hand sewing it because then I can sew both parts of the French seam and make it look as good as new. And then I have my lovely new trousers, um, which I just need to take up. They're just a bit too long. I've just hemmed them at the wrong length, so I need to unpick those and then take them up again. Probably hand stitch them this time rather than machine stitching them. So next I've got this long sleeve 3 by 3 t um, I just haven't finished it. It was a twirl to check that the long sleeve version works, but I haven't hemmed it and I haven't hemmed the sleeves either. Um, it seems like such a waste because it is a nice, um, nice fabric. Uh, so yeah, even if I'm not going to keep this for myself because it's not particularly my colours, I still need to hem it and then I can move it on and somebody else can enjoy wearing it. So next up I have this roll neck top, um, it fits fine, uh, the neckline could probably do with maybe a bit of altering because it's not quite high enough but I just don't really don't like the colour on me so I'm going to look at dyeing that, probably um, a navy I would say. And this is a lovely cat print dress. Um, I really, really love the print on this, but it's got a really high neck. It just does not suit me at all. So I'm going to turn it round and I'm going to um, make it a V-neck. And I think that'll suit me a lot better and I'll feel a lot more um, me wearing it that way. Then I've got these trousers which are taken from my block, they're made out of a really stretchy fabric and they're just like way too stretchy um, and just too big, they're not flattering, I don't feel like my best in them so I'm going to take those in. Then these linen trousers, um, the pleats are just a bit measly. Um, they, I think they will probably work if I do a little top itch on the pleat just to hold it down because they kind of um, poke out and, and don't sit very nicely. Um, so yeah, I'm going to give that a go and, uh, and we'll see if we can make them a bit more wearable. Um, I also just need to tidy up the hems and the uh, inside seams a little bit as well. Thank you. 
I do really like the colour of those, so I'm really glad that I might be able to put them back into circulation in my wardrobe again. Another top that I absolutely love the colour of is this uh, sleeveless top, but the armhole is just so small. Um, I think if I reshape the armhole, I'm going to actually get quite a lot of wear out of this. So, um, yeah, maybe also reshaping the neckline might be something that I need to do. But yeah, that's definitely worth a revisit. So next I have this jersey dress. Um, it fits me pretty well still. I think I'd probably get quite a bit of wear out of it. But it's got this weird kind of asymmetric hem and it just feels like really, I don't know, old fashioned and not me. So I'm going to level that off and I definitely think I'll get some more wear out of that dress. And then we've got this scarf, which is a really nice cream with like a gold lure thread running through it. But these tassels just make it look scruffy. So I'm going to chop them off and I'm going to re-hem it and maybe add some beads as well. And then I think I'll get lots of use out of it. So hopefully that's just given you an idea about how you can handle your fixes. Um, if you do have a lot, it is quite overwhelming. But at least if you do fix them... They're not sitting there taking up space in your wardrobe um, or in a big pile by the side of my bed. Like, yeah, this is <laughs> happening to me. Um, so, yeah, do get on with your fixes, but get those garments back in circulation in your wardrobe and you will thank yourself.